This is the first small group discussion with J. Krishnamurti in Gushdad, 1962. Sit higher up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us thought it would be a good idea to have a series of discussions that will be eight discussions, won't it? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, eight discussions. After the gathering, after these big meetings, some of us thought it would be a good idea to have a smaller group and to discuss in detail, going to things, if we can, sharply and deeply. And I would suggest that those who are here should come to the eight talks, eight discussions, or not at all. Want me to be still higher? Somebody's screaming their names. No. no. I think it's all right, isn't it? Okay. I don't know how you feel what it means to discuss to each one of us. I've done these discussions all over the world in India, California, in New York, in different places. And you may have some new ideas or a new way of discussing. I'd like to hear that. How you would approach a discussion, a group of, a, with a group like this, a, a series of discussions. How would you, how would you tackle it? You see, I thought that there are not too many of us, each one of us, and I mean each one of us, not few remain silent, the rest talk, each one of us should discuss, should expose themselves if they can, their thoughts, their feelings. And I thought it would be a good idea if we could take one subject, doesn't matter what it is, and go into it each morning completely and thoroughly. Would that, what do you say? I'm not going to work. <laughs> We're all going to work. So. Would that be all right? Would, do you think that would be a good way to approach these discussions? I think so, Krishna. That we all take part, not just few of us, and that we take a subject which we all agree each morning and go into it as thoroughly as possible, <coughs> all round and extensively, and s see what happens. Is that, would that be mm. all right? Mm -hmm. So which shall we start? What shall we start this morning with? I can make a suggestion if you wish. And that is, let us start very close to the beginning, the subject of choiceless awareness. What that means in actual. I don't know what the others want. Yeah, you, like, you follow the open negative approach. Yes. 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 We could also.
switching the subject of fear, which is very important. Take the subject of flame passion to start. Oh, I catch fear. You start with fear. Mm. Huh? You start with fear. Mm. Okay. I didn't put myself in mean, oh, the most heavy. Suggest might be a good idea. I'm just, please, I'm not, I'm just suggesting that we should take this question of passion mm -hmm. and if we understand that perhaps we can take fear, negative awareness, and with that sense of passion approach each subject. You follow what I mean? Would that be all right? Yes. yes. Do you all agree to that? Yes? Yes. yes? Not agree, you know what I mean. It's not a debate. this passion for something or is it a, a state of being? No, you see, but when you put a question like that, is it a state of being, is it a for something? I think we are not, if I'm please, I'm talking not respectfully, that's understood. Hmm? I don't have to say, please, forgive me if I'm polite, if I'm respectful and all the rest of it. Let's cut it all that out and let's be simple. When you put a question like that, Aren't you asking for a, an answer which will indicate one thing or the other? Hmm? You see, I, you, now wait a minute. The, how I would tackle it is entirely different. I would like to put it to you and you will see. What is this passion? I like to find out. Hmm? I like to find out what is the what is its nature, what is its quality, what is its depth and height and uh, you know intensity. I like to find out, not be told. Do you follow? When you put a question, is it a state or is it something else, you put me, you want to find an answer, not... If somebody tells me, you know, see, sir, yeah. if somebody uh, says to me, what is passion? I mean, the, there is sexual passion, there is uh, passion for something, passion for mountaineering, passion for music. You follow? There's passion. And that doesn't satisfy me. That's only for something, isn't it? I don't know if I'm jumping into too quickly. 
But I need to find, and I want to find out if there is a passion, an intensity, a flame, a, a burning away of something, burning, with, without this form, without this motive, without this end. So just the difficulty. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you, you follow, I mean. But what is the, the difference between desire and passion in this case? When, I mean, desire, when desire for something, intensified, f fanatical, can become passion. Hmm? I feel I must save your soul, hmm? and I, I become passionate about it. I'll burn you, I'll do anything to save you. Is that what we are talking about, passion? Is that what we mean? A desire, intensified desire? You see, when we intensify one desire and make it into a passion, it comes to an end. When that desire is over, I pick up another desire. I don't know if I'm conveying it. It's not that kind of passion, a kind of self-enjoyment. Yes, there is not only self-enjoyment, there is the do-goodness involved in it. You know what I mean? The feeling of martyrdom, you know the whole cycle of it. Is this the same thing as hunger, which you spoke of? Mm, no. Is it hunger, is, is it desire? Is it a sense of an urge? Hmm? An urge to fulfill, an urge to paint, an urge to write, an urge to talk. You follow? That gives a great deal of intensity. If there is a strong urge, it does produce intensity. Mm -hmm. I feel it's more of a feeling, a complete feeling. No, don't jump to what you feel, sir. <laughs> don't, we're not trying to express what you and I feel. We want to find out what is this thing called passion, without which I don't see you can do anything. See, I want to find out if it is possible to be free from fear. And to find out, I must be passionate about it. You follow? Is it the beginning of giving your whole attention? In <laughs> you see, you are trying to find a way to it. You follow? Uh, saying, is it? If I go through that door, will I get it? Will you? I'm trying to find out if there is any relationship possible between that and I and the me and the way I. You see, we are trying to find out if there is any relationship. Ah, that's too complicated. Between that passion and ourselves. Ah, that's too complicated. <laughs> it seems to be very simple. We no, are trying no. to find out ah. how to no. approach. Sir, just a minute, sir. Master, the, she put a question, which is, I like to find, what was it? What is, what is this passion, she says to me. You are complicating by saying, what is the relationship between me and that passion? And she says, another says, is it desire? Is it uh, an intuitive urge? They saw that. Hmm? Aren't you rather complicating the whole thing? We will complicate it a little later. It, but is, it is complicated. I don't think it is. <coughs> Isn't it the identification with what you love? Ah, no. Mm. You see, the moment you identify yourself with what you love, it's not love. No, but it can be a kind of a passion. Ah, no, it can't be. <laughs> because there's a, there's a contradiction between you and what you want to do. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Swami says, 
the relationship between me and that state which is passion. Hmm? What is that relationship? I wonder if there's any at all. I doesn't, that doesn't concern me at all. I say, look, I, I want to be in this state. Them, uh, not want, you understand, there's a plus one apart. I, I must capture it, I must enter into it, I must completely submerge, like in, uh, in a pool, I must go into it. I don't want to spin all around with words and is this, is that, is that. And then if I'm in it, I find out whether it's right or wrong. You follow them whether it's the real stuff or the wrong stuff. I don't know if I, I am I making it too simple or Is there any particular circumstance under which it arises? So look. You know what ordinary passion is, don't you? Sexual passion. Uh, when you get terribly patriotic about your country, hmm? or uh, violently identified with communism, with Catholicism, with something, you get tremendously worked up. No? I don't think we even know that. Completely. No? No. At least you know the symptoms of it. You know the marginal feelings of it. No? You get it in wild things like in colère. You see, I can't. How do you say that? Yeah, uh, anger. anger. Russia. 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 Yes, wait a minute. We do know this feeling of sexual passion. Uh, passion for one's country or, or, or an idea or committed to something which arouses a passion. No? As Ma says, this is identification. Okay. I'm saying we do know all these. I am intensely interested in music, composed, play. We know the symptoms of a, of a series of passions. Right? We all know that. But is that what we are talking about? No, I don't think so. Now, it, if it is not, what is wrong with the things that we have felt? You follow what I mean? But why do you get it in anger when you don't get it somewhere wait, else? Wait, 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 wait. I'm, we'll take, come to that a little later. In all that, being committed to church, being committed to communism, being committed to Catholicism, you know, being uh, national or committed, it uh, awakens certain sense of intensity which might be called passion. We know some of it. And we say it is not quite bad. Why? Because it is not something in relation. Oui, mais particulier, oui, mais particulier euh, feel. Comment? Mais particulier feel. That is what it means. That those marginal, slight passion is for something, isn't it? And the speaker said, passion, which is not for something. Yes. And that is our bad. You follow? That is our our misunderstanding. We know passion for something, and the speaker says that is that is in that there is a distraction, there is an identification, there is a conflict, there is a distraction, and all the rest of it. That's not real passion. The real passion is a state in which there is no motive. It is not for something, right? But I yes. only know that other aspect. The other ones we know. This we do not. Know. Yes, but it's aroused by something. Huh? It's aroused by something. I question. Wait, you say but it's aroused. So it is built up, aroused. Is it? You see, we ought really to stick to one thing. 
if I may say so. The passion, the intensity, the desire, the volition, the determination, identification, commitment, which all involves for something. Now, we know all that. Is it possible, knowing all that, to see if there is a state which is not for something? You follow? I don't know if I'm... Yes. Yes. And then proceed. And not, and not say this is not... Um, contradict each other. You know what I mean? I don't know. In this case, sir, if, I, if it is not a goal, if it is not a product of desire, it is a byproduct to which we may arrive through something else, which we eventually may arrive. But we cannot, we cannot reach it, we cannot go to it, we cannot expect it. You discuss, you, we all discuss, don't we? Well, a while ago, you, you said, I want this. I question that it, it is possible to want it, because that I need to... I wait, wait a moment, please. I, I think that as if I see the, the, as you were mentioning, the negative approach is the only, is the only uh, way out of, of those passions with, with an object. If we see that it's uh, that it doesn't lead us anywhere, may I put it on the other way, sir? It's, it's like this: if the speaker hadn't said passion without purpose, yeah. would you yourself have found it out? Certainly not. No, why? Because we always no, 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 stop. Not because. Purpose. Why didn't you find it out? I think that you follow what I'm saying. You you are now trying, if I may point out, trying to adjust or find out what the speaker is talking about. You follow what I mean? You don't say now, by Joe, what why didn't I find it out? If that is true, why what was missing in me that I couldn't capture it? Exactly. Sir. I feel it's the separation we make. I don't. You see, don't so listen to my question. You're you're going on with your question. I hear somebody say there is a passion which has no object, which has no cause. Hmm? Now, first of all, when a statement of that kind is made, I say, by Joe, is it? Is there such a state which has no cause, which has no purpose? You follow? I want, first I must find that out. I think there is in joy. I, no, don't introduce examples. I don't know. You follow? Then we'll get carried off on detail. Here is a man who says passion without cause and without a result, a purpose. Now, is it possible? In our, in our life, to have something which is without cause, without a purpose. Until I find that out, it's no good asking any other question. You follow what I mean? <laughs> is, is this... I'm wondering whether this passion may be in some way related to normal passion, that there, in a normal passion there's an impulse, but that's very quickly twisted and turned. But if one remains with it, if one could, I'm wondering whether that's... No, Dr. Mandro, way... Dr. Mandro, I don't mean that. Look, sir, you <coughs> are a biochemist, a PhD in all that. Now, you make a statement, and I want to find out if what you say is is true, you follow? Yes. Not I don't yes. accept or reject. Yes. I want to find yes. out yes. if there is mm. a state where there is no cause and mm. no purpose, mm. no effect. Mm. I don't know if I, mm. I'm sorry mm. to labor, that may I may be wrong. I just want to find out. Mm? Yes. Is there? I believe so. Huh? I believe so. Nah. Well, no, sir. It's nah. a divine state. Ah no no <laughs> not believe. Then you're wrong. Then I if you so. no wait a minute. I if you say I believe, then you are lost. It's a divine state. I don't know, but I want to find out in my life, sir, if 
if it is if there is anything which has no cause if i love my wife my children and uh, anything without cause or is everything with a cause you mean without motive motive all that cause motive it's a divine state no. as I, i don't know that It's no good stating it's a divine state, sir. But I don't know. I don't know in my life anything which has any activity, any action, any thought, any feeling which has not a motive. Doesn't the very knowing stop it? No. First, put me. Let me hmm. put the question I mean, to myself. When I feel that there are times when this is so, but as soon as one knows it. It isn't. That later on, the late complete First, I want to see in my life if there is something without a cause. But I could cause. say yes. Huh? You could I say, can't say yes. What is it? Well, a certain experience which happens. Ah, wait, wait. No. Without no. any. No ah, that, may, that may be because. But not this passion. It's no, wait, else. wait, wait. That if you say there are experiences which have no cause, I said no, impossible. Because every experience is a pass, is a is a reaction. We won't enter into it. You see, I but don't you must speak something, or there is nothing. I don't I understand how can can. You see, I. The, something happens, all right. At the moment, it is like this. Then you remember it's different. But this is a fact. This is a fact. So if we talk about it, it's already all false, because we are not at the moment. That is the difficulty. So you can feel it for once you felt that, and you don't feel it for this passion of playing. But what is the question we are discussing? We want to find out or experience or be in that state, which is passion without a motive, right? Yes. Without a cause, without a purpose. It sounds so fantastically nonsensical. But you can experience this passion in relation to things. I. Right? That's it. But the speaker says there is no such. Th- that's not passion because then. In that passion, there is always a shadow. You follow? Yes, but uh, that occurs if you're trying to hold on to that. Hold on, but, but you, if you're not trying to hold on, but then it's not. Then you are still a purpose, and then there's a contradiction. You must not hold on. You follow? Uh, but you, if you um, you can't have the passion unrelated to nothing, can you? I say it is possible, and that's the battle. <laughs> you follow what I mean? Um, but if you if you are say standing here, um, you can you, you know there's a tree outside, but um, you don't hold on to that fact. I mean, it's, I don't have any particular passion for that tree, but it it has some kind of something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it's there. I mean, uh, you couldn't separate this passion surely from everything else in existence. I think one should, because you see what her question was. If one really goes into it, passion, which has no motive, hmm, unrelated, something in itself, without a cause. I think if we could pursue that to the end, I think we will find that it is related to creation, which is not, which is without cause. But that, that creation point out it divine etc etc yes but that creation takes place in relation to and never could I, i don't mean in the sense of identifying yourself with oh, no 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 it couldn't i mean <coughs> that's it you see oh, that's it you see i feel the passion and creation are related you follow Yes. And this passion, which is without cause, if I understood and lived it before, you know, in it, perhaps, then I will tackle fear, all the rest of it, and 
feel this thing which creation without cause. After all, let God quote hmm, yes. must be without cause. That'd be too silly if that old bird had cause. <laughs> yes, but how do we know it? I, we can see logically. If he's do, if, if because he, that cause implies a reaction. Someone to make good. Some yes. Yeah, all the process for me. I am afraid we don't put simply and clearly the question. Only the question. Sir, so, she has put the question fairly clearly. What is this passion without cause? Is there such thing? When I know, she says, where every action, every thought, every feeling, every identification has a cause. What the dickens are you talking about? There's a state of inquiry. Huh? It's, a, it's the inquiry. Yes, she starts with that. But the, the passion is the inquiry. But is that inquiry without a motive? If I inquire because I want to achieve, because I want to get, I want no, to... No, you inquire because you're interested, because... Ah, now wait a minute. Okay, you see, when you use the word interest, um, in something... Well, in the passion. You see, then you're lost. You have motive. But in a living field, no? In a living field, we can see, no? I have right now the feeling that I, I feel much that my friends do or my friends are not here. And I was sad, very sad about this. And I think it is with a cause, no? It's this feeling. Yes, I understand, but you see. Could that be a state of intense attention? Yes, sir, we change the word. But if you have attention with a cause, then it's, then it's no attention. No, no, no. So, we the don't. thing to do, sir, if, as, as I see it, I may be wrong, to find out for ourselves if there is, if we can eliminate in ourselves all causation. Oh, you see, it's an immensely difficult uh, thing we are talking about. We talk about being creation. That's a, that is love. Well, well, that's a further stage. Don't bother with that. Attention I, I suddenly had a feeling, Marg, suddenly had a feeling, passion, and that thing is unrelated. Not related. Not there. It is a continuous movement. Uh, oh, it is. It has this quality in the other. Yes. I, I leave that for you. You follow? I want to find out for myself, in myself, if there is, I, we're getting there, go on, if there is a, any action, any idea, any feeling which is without cause. That very question uh, is putting yes. a question. Ah, no, 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 no. I just want to see. I just want to find out. There's but no you see that very wanting to see it, isn't that? No, no. I don't. You see, I must use words. <laughs> huh? Then it becomes. Look, sir, you tell me there is a state of passion without cause, right? And I say, by Joe, I don't know anything about it, but there may be or may not be. But I want to see in myself if there is. Just to see, as I see that thing without cause, I'm using the word see without cause. Yes. If there is, if all, let's, if all action, all, everything which I do has a motive, has a cause. Huh? If I find everything has a cause, everything that I do has a cause, a commitment, an identification, a go, etc. Now what happens when I come to that point? You follow what I'm saying, sir? Now, let's proceed now.
I find I love my wife because, right? I go to the office because. I come here because. Everything I do is there is a motive behind it. So hmm? the motive behind the passion and anger. I, I don't. I don't want to bring passion anger into it. Please just yes, because let, that is let's talk abstractly for the moment, yes. and then come back to detail later. But this is. This seems to be the problem that you you ask this question: uh, Is there the state without passion, uh, without motive? Um, but no. in asking that question, haven't you got a? No, no, no. I just want to see, sir, if everything I do has a motive. I just want to find out. There is no motive behind that. I just want to see. Well, if there's no motive behind that, that is the... Inside. Wait, 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 wait. Go slowly. That's what I'm trying to get at. You follow? First of all, I recognize that everything I do has a motive. Right? Yes. What yes. happens? Everything no. I do. I do think, uh, feel, uh, not feel. My, right? Yes. Now, what happens when, I'm, when I realize that everything I do, don't do, feel, don't feel, has a cause, has a motive? Don't say it's selfish, it is um, godly, it is divine. I don't know any of that. It has a cause, right? Now what? What is the state of the mind which has discovered this? <laughs> you are following what I am talking about? Is that silence? <laughs> you, you, are, you see, you are all wrong. You are not. <laughs> you see, you are not discussing with me. You are just trying to capture a state. No, Signora, to help. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, I. You're missing my whole point. Look. I thought I loved my wife, hmm? and I felt that you. You just there's a call behind it, right? I want to educate my children, and I see what is involved in that. Huh? I go to church, become a Catholic, or caught by the police, and I see what is involved in it. Hmm? Go to the business. You know, I recognize that whatever I do has a motive behind it. Whether I join a Communist Party, become a Catholic, to come here, go to the mountain orgs. Everything I do, don't do, think, don't think. It, first of all, it's a tremendous realization, you follow? My seeking God is just another. You follow? Yeah. So I've suddenly realized what whatever I do has a motive. Which you, I didn't realize before. But you can't go any further than that. Wait, 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 sir, wait, wait. I don't want to go further. First let me see that. The mind is a void. And let it, you are all so keen to get voids and <laughs> no, you don't go step by step, sir. That's where the mistake we are doing. <clears throat> millimeter by millimeter, then you will get into it. Then it will be logical, it will be sane, say it will be silence, it is no meaning. Sir, so why don't we discuss why do you have always a motive? Because my wife gives me. I think me at least that uh, so someone has a motive when he wants to fulfill himself. That's when he's it's, empty. it's all involved in it. I find comfort with my wife, gives me um, food, sex, uh, children, identification with children, a continue. You know, we know all the wives. I go to church because I, there is a certain sense of inward security, I, uh, emotional, you know. In some kind of cinema, I go to church, and I feel extremely elated. And I go, next day go there again because I want, I feel stimulated. Oh, we know the causes. I, that's not the point. 
Now, I reckon I see in myself that there's a tremendous well of motive. That's all. And what does that do to that experience, that, that sense of being aware that by Joe, everything I do or don't do has a motive? What does that experience of recognition do to the mind? I, you follow what I mean? Humility. Oh, good God, no, I, heck, I don't want to produce anything. I'm sorry. You see, you're, you're good. Look, sir, I really... It is it's a tremendous revelation to me to, <coughs> have, to experience something which is real, that everything has a motive. It brings a tremendous feeling, doesn't it? I don't know. Huh? Yes, mm -hmm. but um, huh? the experiment that you are, the brain itself. And the no, brain no, itself is this. No, no, it, whatever you well, do, could, then no, you say, all right. No, it could, no, you are not. Say, say no, that no, but you are, that's not my point. Look, doesn't this experience, we call it experience, give you an ex a shock, a, a feeling of, my God, what a strange thing that whatever I do has a motive. Huh? No, it doesn't. It That's the shock. trouble. Huh? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Why? Oh, what's wrong see, with well, that? I'm, I'm, like me, this. I'm coming to that. Huh? It doesn't give me a shock. That's the whole trouble. Why? And the, this gentleman says, What's wrong with, what's wrong with not having a shock? Or no, what's I wrong with having a motive? What's wrong with having a motive? I don't it's say it down. is a wrong, or if it is wrong, it will give you a shock. I don't say, you follow what I mean? Yes, sir, but you said, if you see that everything you do has a motive, doesn't it give you a... No, motive? what does it do? I've introduced, what does it do to you? What experience? Is it a shock? Is it a pleasure? Is it is it saying, by you, what's wrong? Why should I be a motive? No. It gives an impression of something quite strange. Instead of... No, yes, quite right. It gives you a straight... Now, go into it, sir. It alters the whole... It picture. alters the whole right. picture. You'd, you'd, you'd be, um, it would alter the whole situation. Doesn't it? What does it... What do you... What happens, sir, when you realise everything is a motive? Well, you stop. I am in the other state. Huh? But I am exactly. No, no, no. You are all. You are not free. No, Senora. <laughs> it makes you stop for the moment. No, no. It may make you stop, but what does it reveal to you? I wonder how could I not see this for so many time, for so long time? All right. Go beyond that wonder. No. Uh, yes, I said, by Joe, what a damn fool I have been. I never saw this. Yes, well, yes, yeah, all right. Well, I can't say I see it clearly, but I feel it's pointing towards the losing of yourself, the feeling of yourself. You see, no, you're missing the whole, you're going much too fast. You're not going step by step. No, you, <clears throat> you're so fascinated that you have to, well, you wonder what comes next. I'm not. You see, that's what I'm talking. I am not concerned. I see the fact, the fact that whatever I do or don't do has a motive. A motive was self-interest. Self-interest. Put it that Self-interest, um, protection. You know, and I, um, we know. What, when I realized that, what have what have I discovered? But I am entirely a good sense. Yes, yes, sir. But what have I discovered? I won't go a little. Yes, a good sense. All right. What? My limits. Which means what? 
I found the limit. Well. Go I slow, Bhima. Ma, I go am limited like this. Well, all right. Go slow, Mima. And go slow. Step. You see, you are yes. not willing to go slow. Like But it's going slowly to say that one sees one's limits. All right, now what happens when I see my limit? When I've realized that whatever I do has a motive, what is taking place? Limit, uh, egocentric, petty, you follow? What is taking place? You do say, oh, to help with it, I just carry on. Or a kind of despair. No, it, or I... Wait, wait, if it is despair, why? You are reacting to the fact. Hmm? Yes. Which means what? You are not facing the fact. You are merely reacting and therefore not looking. I don't agree with you. Huh? But I want to see, I want to look what is taking place. Therefore it is no despair. There is no hope. It's no saying, I must change, I must not change. What is to happen next? I'm watching. It's a state of wonder, no? Huh? Feeling of freedom. No, sir. No, no sir. sir. Yes, sir. In, in my life, I found that it was high time to study the motive, to have a complete distrust toward every motive. Yes, sir. I was, look, I know. I think I love my wife, but it, I see it isn't at all. It's just a, a various motives involved in it. I've studied it and I realized. And I've studied um, other motives, other um, actions, there's a motive. I said, for God's sake, how extraordinary that there, in my life there is nothing which hasn't a motive. Hmm? And the motive eat me all the time. Huh? And the motive eat me all the time. It's me. What is me? What is me? It's me. me. I, 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 I'm not saying it is me. I real. You see, you are all, you're all too clever. I, I just want to move, Signora. Please follow me a little bit. Don't try to jump to states. I realized this state that all my life, my whole existence has, is based on motive. And I see what motive does. Hmm? Do you? Makes me feel sick at the enough of it. And yes. you see, you are again reacting. Watch. Yes, it is. What I am saying. No, no. I'm. All right, you react. Then, yes. therefore, you don't face the fact. Yes. It's no good being sick about it. In the meantime, while I'm sick, vomiting, this thing has gone away. I want to remain with it, without reaction. Do nothing. I, you see, I want. <laughs> You see, the moment you say, I do nothing, the other gentleman says, I vomit, another one says, there is a void, there is a freedom, there is this, there is that, you're off. We realize and that what? we are... We realize that we are unidimensional minded. Yes, sir. You see, we are indulging in words, we are not facing the fact. The fact is... Everything I do has a motive. Is the mind in a state of observation? Yes, Signora. Yes. Well, go slow with me, please. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to go fast. Then you get lost in words. There is this fact, fact, that whatever I do has a motive. Then what what takes place? Actually, that fact, huh? that fact um, acts on its own. I mean, but you're you not allowing to, it to act on its own. You are doing all kinds of things to it. Yes, indeed, but I know, that's, that's the temptation to do. Yeah, but you are doing it all the time. I haven't moved. I'm just looking at it all the time. Is that, that's all you can do then. Huh? That's all you can but do. How do you know that's all you can do? Go in, wait with it. No, that's yeah. Be there. One stops identification. No. 
Thank you. You're <laughs> not so you're asking us a question, and from the very nature of the case of what yes. happens, we yes. can't answer it in words. Therefore, you stop answering. You can but yourself. Stop answering. <laughs> And you will see when you have stopped answering me, you're looking at the fact, right? And moment you look at the fact without trying to give an opinion to the fa- about the fact, then when you answer, it will be the right answer. You follow what I'm saying? The fact makes the change. Oh. You are all so keen about change. I'm not. I just want to see the fact that whatever I do has a motive. I thought I'll please. I'll take a very. I thought I loved my wife, and behind that there is a motive, and therefore it's no longer love. Hmm? Right. Then I feel like a blind man. I'm afraid to wash. I wash my steps because I know everything hurts and I am hurt. No, I, you're going. No, so no, sir. Please, sir, do look. You see what we are doing now? That your mind. If I'm not, please, sir, and talk simply. Huh? I, I see one other. That your mind is incapable of remaining quietly with the fact. It's chasing, doing, acting, answering, saying, Is this right? Is this wrong? Must not, must it? say what that everything I do as a motive is to say that I don't do anything for itself. No, Shami. No. Sir, look, sir, Monsieur Fouré. This morning, early at seven o'clock, there was a racket going on. They were drilling in that house next across the road. They began at seven, or even earlier. It was very irritating noise, you know. Zing, zing, you know how it was. Either you go with the noise, you follow? Huh? Not completely. <laughs> Either you accept the noise, <coughs> swallow the noise, yes. hmm, or you resist the noise. <coughs> if you resist the noise, that is, then it gets more and more, you follow, and the unbearable. You want to shout, get angry, all the rest of it. But if you let go with it, you so it, it, you, you follow, there is no resistance, there is no fight, there is no battle between you and the noise. You'd, just nicely and pleasant. It's part of the whole process of the valley. Right? Now, wait. Here is something, which is that whatever I do or don't do has a motive. I can't do anything about it. Hmm? That's the first fact. I can't do anything. That's a fact. If I try to alter it, it will have a motive. Right? Yes. Whatever I do about the fact will have a motive. Because my whole being is full of motive. So I said, By Joe, I found something. Listen to me quiet. I found something. I have found something. You see? <coughs> when, you, when you are faced with a fact, of this kind, and you realize that you can't do a thing about it, and you realize you can't do anything about it, 
then what is taking place? You follow? There are two, <coughs> there are two statements. First, I realize the fact, right? Then I realize also that I can't do a thing about that fact. Hmm? Right? Then what happens? Don't answer, oh, freedom, uh, silence, and this. Uh, just watch what happens. <laughs> if I realize the fact, the fact plainly, I do absolutely nothing. But what are you doing now? Yes. <laughs> but doesn't the fact become arduous? Huh? Doesn't the fact become very hard to stay with, I mean... That's right, sir. Why? You see that now we are beginning to go into it. But you keep running off it, I mean it's... That's it. You would... Now you're discovering something. For the first time we are... I am recognizing that I cannot possibly look at the fact for a second, because the next second is off. One fact, he goes to sleep, I mean, that's the... No, no. <laughs> Looks up. Wait, wait, there's the fact. Hmm? I can't do it. Everything I do is with a muti or don't. Do. That's a fact. Now why can't why is the mind incapable of looking at that fact? Because it's going back and forth about various things, right? Why? Why is that doing? Why is it doing this? I want to continue in that. No, no lady. Why is it doing? Watch it. Watch your own mind. Why is I'm it afraid. Huh? I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Of this limitation of which I discovered. Hmm. And what? Then what will you do? Run away from it? Run away from and you run away, run away from it. All right. That's the answer. You follow? You run away from it. That's all. But a man who says, look, I want to look at the fact, I'm not going to run away, right? I want to see. He has then to consider not the fact at all, not that there is no etc., not the fact at all, but why is running away? You follow that? The importance is then not the fact, but the escape from the fact. Why does the mind escape from the fact? It's a time, time space relationship. Huh? It's a time space relationship. Yes, sir, but why? Why is it running from a fact? I say it's a fact, and next second I'm off. Because, because time and space are intrinsically tied together. Yes. But that doesn't explain. I'm still running away. Because the fact is constituted by time and space. Yes, sir. But what am I to do? Monsieur Persili says, look, I can't face the fact. I don't know. It's too disturbing. I run away. Now, Leave the fact alone, and I'm now considering why I'm running away. It's, huh? it's, in, it's, in, it's intrinsic with... I don't think so! With time and space. Yeah, but there's no reason repeating that to me, because I don't know what intrinsic with time and I see the fact that I can't... I see that I can't look at the fact in the face, because... It, 
in looking at it, there are innumerable fears arise. And these fears push me away. Right? Not only fears, but real horrors. Yes, yeah. good enough. Because it's yes. the same I mean, thing with the society and all this. Oh, thing. everything so is important. Yeah. So that's good enough. One movement of escape. I said, wow. So the fact is no longer important to me, but the escape from the fact. I don't know if you're huh? so I'm now considering the escape. Why am I escaping? Difficult it is. Huh? Why do we escape to unpleasant things and not to lovely things? And, and, and it's all, all escape. When you say it's lovely, I'm cool to hold on. Yes. It's part of the escape. Yes. Yeah. We escape because we don't want to see. Yes. Sir. One can't go any further. My mind escapes. Why should you go any further? Why would you go any further? It's because I identify myself with the motives. No, you're not, you're not. Again, I have to beat you to the corner. You see, you are not going into it. You are as, Look, let me take it up again. I realize that everything I do has a motive. Or don't. Do. And when I realize that, what is taking? Apparently, I can't stand it. Hmm? It's too much. It's a terrible thing to realize how petty I am, right? How shallow I am, and therefore I, I, I can't live with that. I run away. I do something. I think that if you are simply in yourself, you find it very lovely. Um, but it is the oh, moment no. when you see that you in the society is one, and then you see the horror of society, then you have that kind of despair and you run away from it. Do, please, don't stick to one thing. I think it needs a tremendous energy to face the fact that we won't get it. We are doing it now. We are do it, it, you, I wish you would do it and you will get, you will be passionate at the end of it. Not how to be like all the rest of the village, but you'll be there. Because you won't, don't want to accept. All right, sir. Don't accept. Run. You follow? Run. Leave it alone. Don't pretend. Don't say, well, I... just run. Leave it. That's what. Everybody is doing. You follow? Everybody is doing. And we say that's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. You follow? But it come, it becomes ugly, wrong, uh, etc. And I say, but you, I want to look at the fact and see what happens. And apparently, you gentlemen, ladies, have gathered here to look at the fact. <laughs> you follow? If you say, please, I won't run, I said, run, leave the door open. When the shock about this discovery, there's th something remains after this shock. I don't know what it is. Maybe and I think that what one would like to run away. I discover that I'm jealous. Hmm? Now, can't, can't I look at that fact? That's easy. Huh? 
Yes. Mm. I mean, no, in the same way, can't I look at the fact that everything I do has a motive? Oh, All the highfalutin words of love, or consideration for my children, their education, their... Uh, it's all coming up. Aren't we trained to consider anything which is done for a motive as bad, and therefore the moment we discover that it... Yes, sir. We associate it immediately. Yes. That's right, that's part of the show. You follow so what is taking place? I be one becomes terribly realistic, you follow? Yeah. And one doesn't use words like love anymore, you follow? I want my son to be what I want him to be, hell, everything else. All this responsibility, duty, love, and goes down the drain. If you're realistic, that doesn't matter, does it? I mean, um, if you say that, you say, right, I want my son to be that, and I admit it. Then you're forcing, cooking, boiling. So at least you're being realistic. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't fool with it. <clears throat> but what happens? If you are realistic and pursue that way, you'll find out for yourself you're creating misery for that boy and for yourself, or that girl, because they'll begin to hate you. You follow? Yes. And there begins the whole gamut of relationship. But if you say, look, follow the other. I face the fact. Hmm? Everything I do is with a motive, or with a motive. Then what happens to my son or daughter? How do I treat them? I'm realistic, you follow? <coughs> I've stripped myself of all hypocritical words. You're still doing it. Huh? No. no. Is there something else is taking place? I try to justify. That's part of the game. Justify is part of the game of saying, <laughs> you know, you know, there's motive and all the rest of it. That's all right. If you so either we go that way, you follow what I mean? <laughs> or we don't. It's all right that going that way, what everybody is doing. Not that I want to be superior to everybody else, but that's the way the world is up. My uncles and my aunts, my wife and my children are pursuing that path. It's all right. And so the battle of relationship is on. Right? And I don't want to be in a battle with anybody. That's a different matter. But you see, that's what I mean. If you either you pursue that and say I must be in battle, that's part of existence. Help what you're talking about. I understand that. But if you say, look, is there another way? I say yes, therefore we have to look at it. You follow? Stop running. Face the fact. Facing the fact that whatever I do has a motive. So, I don't, the thought doesn't run away. You follow what I mean? I don't know if you... Miss Barry, do you follow, sir? Well, once you see that there is another way, then I could understand the thought wait, wouldn't run wait, away. Wait, wait, stop that way first. <laughs> you can't see the other way if you don't stop that way. Yes. Yes, but you can stop that way and not see that there's Up. another way. moment you stop that way, you will find the other way. But you can't find the other way running. Mm. You follow? 
So if I'm going north, I like it and I feel it's all right, I go north. But if I feel south is the right way, I turn and I'll find a way south. Yes, and finding a way south means staying with the fact, That's which we've agreed is very difficult. We, we can see the futility of going north, which is running away, uh, but... Staying with the fact. Now, proceed. What, what prevents you from staying with the fact? Well, so lots of things. Throw one. Well, fear and all the crowd of thoughts. That's all. I, it's no, we said it's that. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Yes. All right. Then what will you do? Don't, don't make a problem. Then follow the other easier way. You follow okay. me. If it is unpleasant, if it is fearful, if it is noisy, if it creates more problems, carry on the old way. But that's well, not then you worse. Huh? Yes. Then you decide not when you come back to it. If no, not decide. If you say that is not the way, yes. huh, then what have you done? Well, if you know that you've done that and then run away, it's almost impossible to. You say. can't run away. You can't. No, that where you follow. What I mean. I mean, if you see the futility of running away, you stop running away. That's right, sir. Yes, sir, don't ask me, just say it. Well, can't we see that the motive, the motive is the becoming? Yes, sir, but what of it? If I'm not the if, becoming, I don't no, no, want the becoming, to say. I can't stay with the fact because I want to become. No, that is, sir, uh, moment you use the word if, you're lost. There is no if. I can see very clearly that I want to become all the time. Sure, that's, that's why part of the show. That's why I'm afraid business. to I agree with so. the fact. Now, if it, through the fact, I can become. Now, let, now let's make a look. We started out asking, what is this strange thing called passion without motive, without a cause? And I see, and I see in my life, everything. I do or don't do is with, a, is with a cause. And apparently it is one of the most difficult things to remain with that fact. The fact that whatever I do has a motive. It's so obvious. Yes. <coughs> Let me look at that. without saying, oh, it is terrible, it is horrible, it is um, belittling. So I'm, I realize that whatever I do, and therefore my the meaning of words changes, doesn't it? Huh? Seeking truth, love, God, um, affection, uh, everything has gone, undergone its semantic change, no? Right, sir? Right. Now, it If that change has taken place, you follow? Not if. I've come to that point when I'm looking at the fact and therefore the words have undergone a tremendous change in me, in my vocabulary, in my meaning, what has happened to my thinking? What's the state of my mind which has undergone a tremendous change with regard to words? You follow? Are you following me? Huh? It's clear. clear. No, what, no, what has happened to your mind? You said before, I said, I love you, darling. Now I say, by Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no, what happened? <laughs> Do you see what happens to me? Huh? Follow me. What happens? 
most extraordinary thing has taken place. I don't know if it is taking place in you. The most extraordinary thing has taken place in me, which is, I become extraordinarily aware, without a call, you, you got it, sir? I become extraordinarily aware of a change which has been brought about without cause, because I have merely remained with the fact. Got it?